Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Fukushima Day 1231. Today's date is July 24th, 2014. I'm not sure if you've been following along here, but back on Fukushima Day 1086, I talked about the Fukushima liars. I exposed a few of them using their very own emails that they sent to me to, to, to prove that they're lying, especially Miss Milky the Clown, anyone who's been following me along here since 2011. You all know that I travel back and forth across Canada, um, not on donation money. The donations I got barely paid for the, the Geiger counters. I I think I had about $200 left over by the time I paid the Geiger counters. Uh, I, I paid for all of that trip. I went back and forth. I posted the videos on Connecting Dots 1 until YouTube deleted that channel. Now, unfortunately, she goes on to say here that I attacked her because she was posting videos on Ernie Gunnarsson. No, I, I, I basically said, why would you post videos on someone who we know is part of the problem? He's not the nuclear solution. He's the nuclear problem. Many of you have figured that out by now. Arnie Gunderson is nothing more than a shill. And oddly enough, the person I want to talk about, Dana, he also knows uh, that uh, Arnie's a shill. And Kevin D. Blanche also called out uh, Arnie a shill. So why does Miss Melky the Clown not call out Arnie? She doesn't want to. She went and posted in my comments saying that, uh, no, no, I want to post videos from who, no matter who. It doesn't matter who. I just want to get the information out and let the viewers make up themselves. Let let them make their own minds up if the, uh, the information presented is true or false. What kind of what kind of crap is that? Really? Miss Melky? The clown. She is a clown. Get rid of that clown. We don't have time for clowns, folks. It's Fukushima radiation. Next clown up. Oh boy, oh boy. Let me tell you. Many of you have been, you know, I've received probably what, six, seven emails asking me, why don't you join up with beautiful uh, girl Dana and make some videos with him? You know, he's from uh, British Columbia also and da 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 da. Folks, if, you, if you've been watching my videos, I'm really strong on presenting the information. Anybody can get out here, grab a microphone, and say anything they want. You need to back up. You know, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people discredit the, the internet online, because it's all kinds of malaki crap that's going on. Now, in this latest crap here, you know, I have to say, this guy, he's a real piece of work. So, like everyone else, it's not all full of BS. They got to give a lot of truth and then slide in the BS every once in a while. And I think his approach is really try is like an Alex Jones trying to make a mockery of anyone that's following this Fukushima thing. You know, he started this Fukushima Hounds, which, by the way, I joined their forum. They banned me on my very first day. They don't want the truth. They want to censor it. They want to keep it in their own little hound, their own little cave. You guys do that uh, while I make videos exposing the lies. Now, in this latest one here, beautiful girl Dana, whatever, Dana goes on to talk about how uh, building number four is all fake and there is no cranes in there pulling anything out and it doesn't exist. Oh, man, honestly? This guy's new. He, he, he's late getting into this Fukushima stuff, and it's obviously... It's obvious that he just hasn't done his homework, he hasn't been around, he hasn't seen what's going on, or he's just another shill trying to make the whole Fukushima online uh, <laughs> research look like we're a bunch of nuts. I don't know what the problem is, but anyways, there's enough proof out there to, to let you all know that this went down here. So this is reactor number four here. Uh, earlier on here, you can see they had these mechanical cranes on top of it. You know, this... It's no big secret. None of this stuff is hidden. It's very easy to figure out. It's very sad that he would go on. And I'm going to leave a link here to everything you see. I'm just going to jump over the most important parts here. So we have pictures here that show that way back here, and that was July uh, 18, 2012, they're on top tearing everything off because they knew they had to get at this spent fuel pool. And that's another thing. Uh, Dana doesn't know where the spent fuel pool is in this building. Can you imagine that? Anyways, <laughs> honestly, guys, I... He's saying in this latest video here that there's no way they could ever clean up number four because it's impossible to get close to it because it's way too radioactive and everyone would be dead. I guess he never heard of the robotics. He never heard how they are, they're working with cranes on top, uh, protective gear. I, I Honestly, I don't know. He was saying the same thing about Reactor 3. This is the top here of Reactor 3. Do you remember he was saying they'll never be able to tackle that? He was saying, oh, no, 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 it's way too radioactive. No one will be able to get near that. Then all of a sudden you start realizing, hold on a second, what's he talking about? They've cleared it off here. Enough with this crap here. I really, I don't know what to say. You know, and if you want to see more on it here, Unit 3, Fukushima Daiichi Debris Removal, you know, in 2012. I don't know what to say here, guys. It just seems like he's not on top of it. So back to Reactor 4. He's saying this structure here that they built, 
is fake. It has nothing to do with it. It's not doing anything. It's all a facade. There's nothing going on. Move along, folks. I'm not willing to buy into that horse poop because we have enough images and we have the... Uh, we have uh, workers on site that would have been blabbing on this, telling us, hey, folks, this is all fake. It's not going down. There's enough people walking around there. There's enough tweets. We have enough pictures to see what's going on. They've explained what was going down. I don't know what to say. He goes on to say how this new structure is not even attached to reactor number four. Well, he's, he's kind of right about that. There is a little bit of space here. But on top here, you're darn right it is attached, not the weight of it. It's not sitting on top of it. That's why they had to build this extra structure, because they had to build uh, this crane that he's saying it doesn't exist to pull out the fuel and bring it down. That's what this all structure, this whole structure was all about. I'm really, I, I, and he goes on to say, like, this doesn't exist. There's no way they could get that in there. I've talked about this in the past here. I did industrial painting, commercial painting. I could paint this whole, this whole structure here in a, roughly a day. That's one guy, one paint sprayer, air, airless sprayer, a Titan 640, watch out, get out of the way. Okay, I painted entire homes, a first coat, in about four hours. That's about 35, 3,800 square feet, folks. Don't get into uh, looking at it and because you don't know the, how the work goes, and you think, oh my God, it would take, it take way too long. There's no way they could ever get that done. Yes, they have got it done. They have continued on. They knew what the chore was. And as I said here, this is all about this, this uh, bringing in this new structure. So you're going to have this crane here, the one he says that doesn't exist. It does exist. It's there. It's, spin, it's pulling out this casket that has a spent fuel pool. I've made videos on this. It's rather sad that Dana is going to go out there and just talk. And that's one of the big things here. I'm going to be really big about is people that just go out there and talk, talk, talk and don't have the paperwork or nothing to back it up. And you know what's really sad? Here's the really sad part. He's not, I'm not even six minutes into this video, six minutes for 44 seconds. And he's already given out his email address at, and calling himself the, the uh, Fukushima proctologist. And anyone who's from the news or newspaper that wants to get a hold of him and interview him, that they can contact him and he's, he'll gladly give you an interview. Are you for real? What's going on here? Seriously, this guy's out to lunch. I, I don't know what to say, really. You're begging for attention and you can't even get your facts straight. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm just lost. I can't believe that people follow this stuff. And, you know, people have said that his views are augmented. I believe that because there's no way somebody could sit there for a whole hour and listen to his crap when he has no paperwork to back it up. Yes, I got the paperwork for the Fukushima monkeys. That's coming up in a second. But I want to you know really point out here he even goes on to talk about in this latest video how the spent fuel pool well he doesn't know where it is so i figured i'd play this for him so at least him he could learn where the spent fuel pool is as well as the fukushima hounds instead of going around spreading lies they're extremely hot high wheel radioactive and next would say they need to be kept cool for 30 to 40 years that's a spent fuel pool the rods are stored in the pool about 20 meters above ground Okay, so I'll leave a link down below. You can share the video with Dana. Those of you that love him and love his work, he needs to get up par. If he's going to be spreading bullshit, he, he's got to be careful because there's some of us out here. I've been out here since, what, 2008. I came online. I was warning people over the uh, stock market crash. The Illuminati were going to crash the stock market in September 2008. So I came out in September, in March 2008, warning everyone that this was going to take place. I continued on with the Gulf oil spill, telling people about the Rothschilds that own the uh, chemical called Corexit with its secret ingredient being sprayed on the Gulf oil spill. I warned everyone of the price of silver taking off in, 2000, in 2010. I'd been putting videos up for the last year before it took off. I've been on top of this stuff, and I, as far as the Fukushima, I plan on staying on top of it. Unfortunately, I don't put videos up every day, but I do put information here at connectingdots1.com. It's a, the forum that I run. You're welcome to, to come and post. Uh, you won't be uh, banned. Uh, I won't kick you off. You can, you can share your information as long as you're not name-calling or flat-out lying about anything. You're welcome to come along here. Yes, the latest story here. Fukushima radioactive monkeys. They're showing signs of contamination here. As you can see the date here, July 24th, 2014, fresh off the press. Wild monkeys in the Fukushima region of Japan have blood abnormalities linked to radioactive fallout from the 2011 nuclear power plant disaster, according to a new scientific study. 
It goes on to say that scientists compared 61 monkeys living 44 miles from the Fukushima Daiichi power plant with 31 monkeys from Shimok Shimokita Peninsula, which is roughly 240 miles from Fukushima, and they said that Fukushima monkeys had low blood counts um, and radioactive cesium in their bodies. Now, there was no cesium found uh, detected in the uh, Shimokita troop, so it seems to me that uh, they definitely uh, suffered a fallout and uh, they're showing signs. Now, it goes on to say here in another paper here that uh, fewer blood uh, cells could make monkeys more prone to disease. I think those of you who have been following this along, uh, it's one of the big things here, the low levels of radiation won't kill you right away, it's all the side effects that come thereafter. So, stay on top of, your fo uh, stay on stop stay on top of Fukushima, beware of anyone who's uh, out there, you know, begging for attention, asking, please contact me, I'm the nuclear proctologist, I can ramble on, you know, and I've found other holes in other stories here. He had another one, was it? A Chinese scientist had come up with 50,000 dispersion maps in the first 50 days of Fukushima. Right? That's over 100 maps per day, dispersion maps. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, right now, I'm sticking here with this Fukushima, Fukushima number four and how he says it never went down and it's way too radioactive. No one's going to be able to get around there. We're done. I don't know what to say, folks. Uh, I hope you share this information with him, and hopefully he'll get educated on it and he'll realize that uh, this has all been taken, taken care of. And they're they're going to take the spent fuel pools out, and it, it's not hocus-pocus. It's the real thing. Okay, last thing, I'm going to finish up here, my YouTube channel, Connecting Dots 2. If you want to subscribe, you're more than welcome to, but I'll mention it again. I know I've said it before. If you're going to subscribe, chances are you're not going to get your updates. I'm, I'm just censored. That's it. Plain and simple, censored. Uh, I make a video, you're supposed to get uh, a notification telling you that I've done so, but YouTube is not sending them out to everyone. I know a lot of you are still getting notifications, but many of you aren't. So I got a Connecting Dots 2, and I got a backup channel called Connecting Dots 3. You can subscribe there, same problem there too, people are being censored. But at least you got a place here where you can come catch up to me. I Connecting Dots 1, Connecting Dots 2, and Connecting Dots 3. Take care folks, and hope you enjoy the video.